This is everything you need to know about the Amiga Island excursion when you're sailing to Royal Caribbean's private island, Labadee. There is a dock at Labadee so you can easily get off the ship. We decided to get off early to explore the island. There is a beach at Labadee and they have chairs and umbrellas as well as these clamshells, so there is definitely a swimmable beach right at Labadee. Next, we decided to get some souvenirs at Town Square and continue to walk around and explore before it was time to go to our meetup location for the excursion, and that is provided when you're on the ship. To get to Amiga Island, you take a smaller boat, and we were pretty excited. Amiga Island! The ride is about 25 minutes, and you're going pretty fast, which we loved. And then you arrive at Amiga Island. So you get directly into the water here when you're getting off the boat. So I wore my water shoes for this, so just keep that in mind. And they do help you get off, which is really nice. And they take you directly to the beach area where you're gonna be hanging out. So Amiga Island is a private island, but it's not exclusive to Royal Caribbean, but it was only our group there, which was so nice. We had tons of privacy. There are two structures on the island. First is the cash bar and there is no food. So we decided to eat at Labadee before coming over. And then there are bathrooms and you just follow the path here through the plants to get there. There are trees to provide some shade as well. Next, we got our complimentary cocktail and decided to walk around the entire island. There are vendors here, so you'll want to bring cash in case you want to do some shopping. And we really enjoyed looking around and exploring the entire island. At this point, we're on the other side of the island, and the entire walk took us about 12 minutes, really taking our time until we were back at the beach. Now it was time to get in the water. It does get deep pretty quickly, so you'll want to be a strong swimmer if you're going to enjoy the water. We brought our own goggles, so if you want to snorkel or anything like that, you'll need to bring that equipment with you. The water here is so clear. We swam basically the entire time, and we were finding sand dollars, which was so much fun. And then we had some local Haitian beers before heading back. The excursion was about three hours, and we enjoyed every second of it. 